Hey guys, so I actually wanted to um, review for you a product that I got for Christmas. Um, I've talked about these blushes before, um, I have a couple of them individually, but I got a palette of Hourglass blushes. My face, whoa, it's like a picture within a picture. So cool. Okay, anyway, this has a point. Um, these blushes are gorgeous. Um, the colors that they ha we have here are Luminous Flush, which I believe is sold um, independently, as is Mood Exposure. So Luminous Flush, Mood Exposure. And then the middle one I think is, um, I think is just for this palette. It's called Incandescent Electra. Um, I'm going to try and show you them, swatch them on my skin for you so you can see what they kind of look like. Um, I love all of these blushes. There's not one that I don't like. All of them work wonderfully. Um, the Luminous Flush and the um, Incandescent Electra, I'll show you them up close. Um, they're different in the palette. They go, I mean, they go on a little bit similar on my skin. There's more coralliness um, to the middle one here. Uh, but, you know, the difference is not too excessive, but in the palette, I like them all, and I would definitely recommend buying the whole palette. So I'm going to show you, um, just swatching the colors for you. Now, these blushes, like I mentioned previously, are mixed in with the ambient lighting powders. Um, so again, this one will have the, the mood powder, this will have the luminous powder, this will have the incandescent powder in it. Um, so this is a swatch, this is kind of hard to show you of Luminous Flush. Um, I'm going to show you now a swatch of the middle guy here, which is the Electra one. It's got a bit more sparkle to it. It might have just been what I grabbed. Um, and then finally, Mood Exposure. So Luminous Flush is on this side, Mood Exposure is on this side. So those are the colors on my hand. They don't want to look like much on my hand, but on my face, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the middle one because you can try the other two um, just on their own if you want to, but the middle one is, I think, especially for the palette, so I'll show you that one on. Um, this is the kind of corally looking one, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like on my face. I'll do one on each side. So this is the corally one that I just mentioned. Very natural, really pretty, and very buttery. Just goes on so nice. You can't even you can't tell where the blush ends and when it begins. It just like goes on really natural. So there it is. And then I'm going to show you the luminous flush um, on the other side. Um. It's funny, right now in the lighting, I like this one better, but I think in r real life, I prefer the um, the corally colored one, but both are very, very pretty. Like I mentioned, um, I love it all. Gorgeous stuff. Um, I don't know the price. I could look it up, but I mean, so could you then. Uh, <laughs> um, I got it for Christmas, and so I'm not sure. I think it's about 50 bucks. I could give or take $10, I believe. Um, but I think worth it. Um, it definitely allows you some variety. You don't have to buy all the individual ones, which are expensive, like 57 bucks, something like crazy like that. Um, so you get like a variety of different colors uh, in a palette whilst um, not paying the crazy, crazy amount. Um, they are smaller than the actual blushes when you buy them, um, but I think probably worth it just for the variety. Um, and so yeah, this is definitely a good place to start if you're curious about the um, ambient lighting blushes. Um, definitely check this out. Uh, love it a lot. Oh, I had a um, brush hair for my blush brush on there. So yeah, um, check it out. Really nice. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. All that good stuff. Um, or don't. That's cool too. I'm just doing this for fun. So whatever you want. Bye guys. Have a good day.